girl young africana back at it again with another video today i'll be doing day two of the avatar series if you have not checked out day one it is up rocking and rolling on my channel so go ahead and check that out um but this is day two you guys this is earth kingdom come on y'all this is definitely giving toe vibes you get me yeah i'm super excited of how this came out this is my first time ever doing a pixie cut ever and i followed malibu dollface he's like one of the OGs of like hair like and he be he be killing it you feel me he was Alonzo before Alonzo was Alonzo you get me guys this was super super duper fun and dope and I'm gonna treat you guys for this series it's gonna be a two-in-one so it's gonna be how I get this color this install this cut as well as the makeup y'all so it's all in one in one video so stay tuned if you guys want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching but before i go ahead and move on to the next video if you have not subscribed to me what are you doing go ahead and subscribe to your girl it's good for the algorithm and your edges also comment down some trees if you guys are feeling it, if you're repping Earth Kingdom, you get me? Go ahead and comment some trees or some green hearts. And like this video because it's good for the algorithm and your edges. If you think this is bomb and you want the rest of the world to see this, like the video so it can get out to the rest of the world. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, so on to the water coloring. I'm going to use my Kiss Temptation Semi-Permanent in the color Hunter Green. And in my Adore Rinse in the color Electric Lime. And I did add um one bottle of each and i went ahead and added a little bit of jet black from the kiss and um i believe clover yes i used clover as well and i mixed all those together just to get the color that i wanted and this hair is sponsored from bb luxury boutique i got 16 inch bundles there were three bundles and i got um, a 13 by 4 frontal which was also 16 inches and you're just gonna go ahead and dip the hair back and forth until your hair is nice and saturated and there's no blonde parts and I just went ahead and rinsed it and let it air dry so now that the hair is air dried I'm gonna go ahead and start parting out my ear sections and I'm gonna go and cut around my ears just so it fits me nicely the reason why I did this first before I did the cut is because I want to know exactly where I'm putting my frontal at so I know where I'm cutting especially because we're going for layered looks I want to make sure that it's um, parted and put on my head exactly where I want it to be so that the cutting could be a lot more easier for me now I'm gonna go ahead and um, part my part I'm doing a nice side part a nice C curved side part and I'm going in with my Kara Kara wax stick just to press the hair down and then I'm using my hot comb on the hottest setting and I'm just going to press that hair in you guys and this just gives it a nice sleek look all right so now on to the cutting how I did this was again I have my part already and now I'm just going to go ahead and section out um I guess apart from the like the frontal so I'm using I'm parting like my, my frontal into threes so it's gonna be the middle section and then the two sides and then the back will just be its own section so all together I'm doing four sections and I'm just pinning them away so I know what section is what now you want to make sure that you dampen your hair I'm dampening my hair with just some water and right now what I'm doing is I'm taking sections of my hair and I'm, I'm cutting them into vertical parts and I'm cutting them vertically and what this will help do is kind of like have the hair fall into layers but you cut vertically and you're um just cutting vertically once you drop the hair it's going to be like a very layered and tapered look and again I'm just combing through the hair and then I'm cutting it accordingly and I like to do the frontal first or the side first, just so I use that as my guide. Now I'm gonna go in and start parting sections. So I usually do like about like two tracks and I use two tracks and like the lowest layer of the frontal, I'm gonna use that as my guide for me to cut. And again, I'm cutting vertically. I'm gonna get a section. 
I'm going to place the hair vertically and pull it towards me like at a 90 degree angle and then I'm using my shears just to cut upwards and again the hair will just fall into like a nice like tapered look And I'm just gonna do that all around the hair. This is pretty simple, you guys. It was actually really, really easy. I was just kind of overthinking the whole entire process because I just want to, I just didn't want to mess up. I'm a big perfectionist. Now, before I reach the other side of the tracks, I wanted to work on the second side so I can use the second side as my guide in a sense so everything is nice and even. So, again, I'm just taking vertical parts and vertical sections and I'm just gonna cut the frontal vertically. And again, I'm always like when I'm at the edge of where the track and the frontal meets, I, I'm always using the frontal, like a piece of the hair from the frontal as my guide. So everything matches. And that's just how you just get your overall look to be seamless. And again, I'm taking pretty big chunks, you guys. It's not like anything like too skinny. And this isn't really time consuming. It was actually kind of therapeutic for me, you guys. And again, I'm just literally just doing the same thing all around the hair so everything matches. As you guys can see, I'm using my frontal as my guide and we're just going to cut upwards. Now we're on to the middle section, aka the bang area, and I'm going to take the hair vertically. I took a couple of parts, like I, I broke it up into three parts, and I'm just taking the hair vertically, and I'm just cutting straight across. And again, when you do this, it just gives you more layers. And I'm starting off pretty long. You don't want to cut it too short because you can't stick the hair back on. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting the hair, um, combing it straight up and then cutting it and these are the finished results as you guys can see it's already cut nicely you can see how the layers are kind of falling a little bit and like i already knew it was gonna be bomb once like i started cutting i'm like yeah i see it already i see the vision so i'm super happy with my results so i'm just testing out the wig just to see if i have to cut anything and you guys i cut this perfectly well, not perfectly perfectly but it's dang near perfect you guys like i i'm super in love with the length and how everything is looking and how it's flowing it's exactly what i wanted it to be for my first time i think i did an excellent job but now on to styling i'm going to go ahead and just use my cheese silk infusion i went ahead and just blow dried it beforehand as you've seen in the previous clips and i'm just using my babyless one inch iron and i'm just gonna go ahead and curl the hair and what i like to do is i to curl the hair into like different ways so we have like some like nice layers looking you know and i'm just curling and curling and curling the hair as as for the hair on the frontal part i'm curling the hair like inwards almost like how you would kind of bump a bob and i wanted to curl inwards just to give me that certain look and it was definitely a vibe, you guys. We're just, we're gonna curl all over.
Now I'm just taking my twinkle razor and I'm kind of thin thinning out the back a little bit before I further more into the longer pieces up top. I just want that back to be extremely flat and not too, too bumpy. But now back to the top, I'm going to use my hot comb again in the hottest setting. And I'm just going to press the hair out because I want that part to be extremely flat so I could just put it behind my ear and it looks super flush. Now onto the bang area, I'm just going to go ahead and start curling my bangs into sections. And I did end up recurling my hair just because uh, I wasn't really feeling the bang area. I definitely feel like the bang area should have been looser. So I went in with my Babyliss um, 3 fourths iron and I liked how the curls turned out better. But I did that off camera. But overall, this is how we're kind of looking, you know. Now on to the install, you guys. I already have my ball cap done, and I'm using my 91% alcohol just to rub down my face of any oils. And now I'm just going to tint my lace so um, it could kind of mesh with my skin color. I feel like the only issue I kind of had with this lace a little bit was like, I felt like it was so hard for it to like take my foundation. But maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I just went ahead and used my Erica J Hold Me Down Skin Guard and now I'm using the watermelon um, glue and I'm doing two layers, nothing crazy. You want to make sure you do a thin layer and then, you know, just smear it down. And now I'm placing my wig on top. You want to make sure that the wig kind of falls right in front of the glue. You don't want to write directly on there. And now I'm using my razor comb just to razor off the excess lace. And I'm working in sections. So I start off with the middle part first. And then I'm going to go in um, with my detailing. I like to use my rat tail comb the metal part and just use like my glue just to get any parts of the lace that I've missed and that I don't want to cut off. So as you guys can see, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and just do two layers of that as well too before I just, you know, place the lace and um, let it adhere to the glue. And now we're going to work on the sides. And it's the same exact process. I'm just using the razor comb so it could be as close as possible. I keep on saying comb, you guys. My razor blade and I'm, well, my eyebrow razor. That's the correct term. And again, just detailing. We're going to make sure we detail around that bad boy. Make sure all the lace is stuck down.
Now that my entire hairline is done, I'm going to start carving out my baby hairs. I'm doing very minimal baby hairs. I'm literally only doing like one baby hair and like a tendril. <laughs> so I just went ahead and part that out. And I'll be using my Spritz um, Liquid Mousse. Um, this serves as like a hairspray and stuff to keep like to melt the hair actually. I'm going to spray that around my hairline just to melt that lace in. And now I'll be using my hot comb. I'm just going to press that down so that the baby hair is starting to train itself to be downward. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my elastic band and sit that for 10 minutes. And now it's on to the makeup, you guys. So now on to makeup. I already have my eyes prepped and primed. And I'm going into my Morphe 35OM palette. And I'm using this burnt orange slash brown. And I'm popping that as my transition color. I'm just going to place that on the crease as well as on top of where my brow bone is. And then I'm going to go into the same palette using a darker brown. And diffuse in between those two colors until they blend it out. Now onto the base, I'll be using my P. Louise base in Rumor 0.5 and I'm using my buffer brush, my Morphe buffer brush, just to make a no crease crease. This is like the ultimate soft look if you're trying to uh, get like, you know, the no crease crease look. And yes, I'm just apply applying that on my eyelids, on where exactly where I want it to be at. And then I'm going to use the 35OM palette again and then use this beige slash white-ish. I mix colors, I'm not going to lie. I use like the lightest color that was in there and then a bit of the beige. And then I'm just going to use um, a nice fluffy shader brush. And then I'm going to use a small buffer brush just to kind of diffuse those lines. And that's how you get like the soft look. So now onto eyeliner, I'll be using my Essence eyeliner in the color matte black. And today I'm going for a very dramatic wing, you guys. I wanted it to be very exaggerated. So I'm kind of like lifting up the wing towards the end. It's not like a regular straight wing. So it's almost like a Nicki wing. Think of Nicki Minaj or her wing liners. It's almost like that. I wanted to go a little bit thicker today. And I actually liked how it looked. It kind of gave my eyes an elevated look. And overall, like, I kind of, I like that look. I like it. I think I'll be doing this more. Now on to primer. I'm using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm applying that all over my face. And on to foundation, I'll be using my Lancome Tint I Doll in the color 555. As well as my huda beauty faux filter foundation in the color lava cake and i mixed those two to get like my perfect shade and i love this combination it's just it works you know it definitely works so now i'm just gonna go ahead and buff that out with my real techniques buffer brush and as i'm doing this i'm also going to go ahead and tint my lace and i think i actually like this method a little bit better because i feel like when you already have like your lace extremely tinted and then you go in with makeup sometimes you could um risk, risk the chance of it getting um overly dark and that's not the look we're going for so i'd rather just do it like this where i tint it a bit and then build up the foundation and stuff For concealer, I'm using a different concealer today. I just wanted to test something out. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the color Cappuccino. And I like this concealer for, um, I guess for, I don't know how to explain this. Oh my gosh, how would I say this? I like it, The fact I like the fact that it's full coverage. I don't like that it dries extremely fast, you guys. Like, it dries, you have to... You have to blend this out as soon as you put this on your face I promise you like you leaving it on for five minutes because I usually do that oh my gosh that concealer would stay in place you guys this is no joke so I mean I feel like I like it if I'm moving fast but if not I wouldn't recommend this especially for beginners you guys but yeah I'm just applying my concealer all over my t-zones and where I want it to be highlighted at and now I'm just using my damn beauty blender I'm going to buff that out. Now my camera did run out of space, so I did um, 
lose some footage but i went into my juvia's place foundation stick in the color congo and i just went ahead and just you know contoured um around like my cheekbones and also my nose and i'm just using a buffer brush just to buff those contour lines out y'all and i'm going back into the palette just to kind of um give my face some more depth and like the color some more depth and now on to powder i'm using my laura mercier medium deep powder and i'm going to apply that where i highlighted that Now I'll be using my Morphe That's Rich AR Contour Palette, and I'm just going to contour where I contoured at. <laughs> I'm going to apply the powder. You always got to set your liquids with your powders, y'all. Now for bronzer, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. This is like my go-to bronzer, y'all. And we're just going to warm up my face. Now I'm going to remove all the excess powder on my face and I'm just using my foundation brushes to remove all of that. Now for liner, I'm using my white liner from Italia, and again, this is an Amazon brand. I'm just going to tight line um, my waterline. Now for the eyeliner that I'm using, I'm using a liquid liner on my liner. I just used the white as my base, and I'm going in with my NYX Vivid Lights, or is it Vivid Brights? One of them. And it's in the color Vivid Envy. And I really like how this turned out, you guys. Now I'll be going in with my shader brush and I'm using that dark brown that I popped into my crease just to tight line underneath my waterline. And now on to highlighter, I'm using my Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then we'll be going into my NYX liquid liner in the color matte black for my Aaliyah J wing, you guys. And I'm just using the same highlighter that I used, the Amrezy. I'm going to pop that on the button of my nose and also the bridge of my nose just to give myself a little shine you know I wanted to give pixie vibes like a pixie fairy vibe you know and I'm also going to apply that on my cupid's bow as well now for lip liner I'm using my Italia lip liner in the color brown and then um I couldn't find my burgundy lip liner, so I went in with, with the red lip liner from Sephora. Um, I could have lived without it, but I just went ahead and fixed it up. Um, but I'm using my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. And I just went in back in with like a black liner just to, you know, line that up. I fixed that though. But now I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. We're going to spray our face. And now we are going to set, you guys. I'm using my foundation brush. And I'm just patting that product in so it really sets into my skin. And now I'm just going to apply my little moly moles, y'all. Y'all know I love my moles. And I'm just using my Essence Liquid Liner in the color Matte Black. And that's pretty much it for the makeup section. We're going to work on the hair now. Now I'm just taking those clips off. I'm gonna put down my little baby hair, you guys. And today we're going to do the arrogant tag type of baby hairs. And yo, honestly, I'm never going back to using mousse. I'm sorry, sorry, not sorry. Actually, yo, I'm telling you, it's it's bomb. But I'm using my spritz just to spritz down my hairline, so when I hot comb it, it stays nice and in plate, and it just it just looks it looks good, you guys. When you have it nice and <laughs> 
like it looks together you guys so I'm just using my hot comb against like my hairline because I have a little crease from when I wrapped it up and I'm just seeing how like everything is falling now I'm going into my hot comb just to press that down so it's nice and trained And now I'll be going in with my razor comb and I'm just going to go ahead and razor off my baby hairs. I want to make them short but not too short so about an inch or a little bit longer. And now I'm using my bed head um, flat iron. This is like a really tiny flat iron and I'm just going to go ahead and curl um, that baby hair inwards and then we're going to dry sculpt it. Like this is so genius you guys because especially for beginners i know a lot of people like have issues like you know trying to do baby hairs and trying to form it with the mousse and sometimes it don't it don't be laying but this is perfectly oh my gosh it's, it's amazing but i'm using my baby hair brush and i use some spritz on the brush and i'm just kind of forming and training the hair to go into like my hairline and just boom look at that like it was just so easy too easy actually And overall, these are the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not. If you haven't, what are you doing? Get it together. Anyways, I hope to see you guys at day three. Day three is the Fire Nation. Princess Azula will definitely be coming out. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.